coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today, I am so excited because I am here. Okay. So you guys know how in the beauty industry, there are certain products that make us more excited than others. And while makeup in general makes me excited, beauty products in general make me excited, hair products, anything to do with the cosmetic industry gets me excited. But you and I both know that we rank our level of excitement. So there are some of you that are like blushaholics. There are other others of you that are like, uh, lip product junkies. There are others of you that love complexion products, like your foundation, you have more foundations. You could, you could rotate foundations every day for a whole month. You know what I mean? So there are products that we rank and we play favorites against our beauty products, let's be honest. And so when it comes to beauty products, I think for most of us, unless you're in the nail blogging industry, for most of us, nail polish is like, eh, maybe last place. Maybe a step above like foot scrub, you know, which you don't even care about. So when this nail polish collection came out, I was like, sweet baby Jesus almighty, I need to get this collection in my life before my baby arrives because I'm probably going to lose it. Like I'm not, I just, I'm not gonna be able to contain myself. I'm not gonna be able to sleep until I have that collection in my hands. And I was able to snag the Poptastic Neon Pastels collection from Color Club. Oh, like, do you understand? Do you understand? This is almost like, you know, you guys know how excited I get for candy? This is like candy in a bottle for me. It's like looking at all the delicious, okay, let's be honest. You know, you and I both know that the springtime candy is the prettiest and most delicious candy ever. Like the Cadbury eggs and the Robin's eggs and the jelly beans and the Peeps. Aren't they the cutest, most beautiful, beautiful candy of every season of the whole year? Yes. So these are like nail polish candy bottles. Like, and the longest introduction I've ever done. Probably. This is like a four minute introduction. I should be ashamed. It's gonna be even longer because, do you notice anything? I don't think I even addressed this, did I? I think I just showed you guys on Instagram, hey, I cut my hair by the way, and maybe I did some highlights in there, through and through. So I went and I changed my hair, and you guys know that if you've been following me forever, that if something important is about to happen in my life, or something huge just happened, or I'm having kind of a rut, I go and I sit in the salon chair, and I tell Ali, do what you gotta do. And he does what he has to do, and I always walk out looking different, but I always walk out happy. This may not be something that most of you prefer, um, because it's a little artificial looking, but I really, really like it, and I think it's great for spring and summer, and it's nice. I like to look back at pictures like of me and my family and I like to look different, you know? And I also feel as a beauty vlogger, I'm obligated to change my look. You know, I have to try things. I have to try new haircuts and new hairstyles and, and I have to keep it fresh. I can't always look the same. I think it's, I think it's part of our duty and obligation. So I like to look back at my pictures and family portraits and I like to look different. All right, now let's get back. Uh, I need to put like a little disclaimer up when the actual review starts, huh? <laughs> so um, this collection has seven colors. And again, it's called the Poptastic Neon Pastels or Pastel Neons. And it has seven colors. The colors are all amazing and all beautiful. And I posted this on my Instagram and I wasn't gonna do a video, but I feel like a collection like this that takes your breath away doesn't come around very often, but whenever Color Club has neon in the title, whenever any of their collections have neon in the title, they're pretty awesome polishes. And I think that when it's a limited edition product, you're willing to work with the formula. I'm not saying that the formula of these polishes is um, subpar because Color Club, if I had to classify my favorite nail polish brands, I would say that besides RGB, which is like $18 a bottle, I would say Color Club is probably my second favorite and it's an $8, eight, eight to eight fifty dollar a bottle polish. So it's kind of a mid-range polish, it's just like OPI, but it's a really great, great, great brand. I love the formula, I just wish it was so much easier to find. 
to bring you guys in closer to show you the colors on my nails in the bottles and kind of give you an overview of which ones I think are better than others. Welcome to my face. So the very first color that I want to talk about is a color that I don't have swatched on my fingers. I have it on my toes and you guys are just going to have to believe me because I'm not about to lift up my foot and show you. <laughs> this is the coral shade and it is called um, Hot 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 Pants. It looks on the nails exactly how it looks in the bottle. It's a pastel neon coral. It's beautiful, it's not streaky. Just so that I don't get repetitive, all of these colors that I'm gonna show you do not require a white base and they are two coats. They're two coat requirements. The first coat is atrocious, but with the second coat it levels out beautifully and the color is fully opaque. So again, this is hot, hot, hot um, pants. Maybe I'll get brave and I'll show you guys on Instagram, but I hate feet. So we're not going to go there. But this color is really, really pretty. The other color that I don't have swatched is this beautiful mint. And I didn't swatch it on purpose because I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of me talking about mint anything. This is the color Till the Record Stops. And it's a beautiful, again, muted grasshopper mint pastel green. Are you imagining what I'm trying to say? Like it's not like a like a Tiffany's minty turquoise, like a fainted turquoise. No, it's 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 a it's a mint. It's a it's a mint like a mint chocolate chip ice cream, a little bit more, a little bit whiter or paler or less green. <laughs> but yeah, this is really pretty, and both of these have great formulas. Then, um, if you guys can see my hand, I couldn't really decide, so I just kind of splashed whatever color on whatever finger I wanted. Um, but the three best formulas are these three colors that I have in the middle finger, in my three, the three middle fingers of my hands. Um, the first one is this, I guess it's like a beige or a yellow, and it's called Disco's Not Dead. And this is the color that's on my ring finger. A lot of you asked me on Instagram if this was a difficult formula or if it was streaky because historically yellow polishes or beigey type polishes have atrocious formulas and this one is one of the best ones in this collection, believe it or not. This is a two coat. This was one of the easier ones to apply um, and it's fully solid. You can see it's fully, fully, fully opaque. There was no problem. I've had this polish on for about four days already and I, I don't have any chipping. So it's a great formula. It kind of reminds me of Poetic Hues from Color Club, but this one's a little bit more yellow. And on my middle finger, it's a really beautiful lavender lilac color. This one is called Digging the Dancing Queen. <laughs> Digging the Dancing Queen. The color is a little bit washed out of all of these on camera, but I'm going to link my Instagram picture in the description box so you guys can click there and see the true color of these polishes. But this one probably has the best formula of all of the seven colors. It is beautiful, again, fully opaque in two, two coats, doesn't chip. It's just, it's so pretty. This is like the perfect, um, it's the perfect combination of lilac and lavender. It's not too blue and it's not too pink. It's right in the middle, so it's a beautiful shade. This color would look so beautiful on someone with medium to deep skin. Then this green. This is probably my favorite from the collection. This is a pastel neon green. It kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but you can tell on my pointer finger it is a, it's really, it's a neon green, but it's a pastel version. It looks more green in person. It kind of reminds me of like a slime color, but like a pastel slime color. It's really pretty. Um, my next manicure for sure is going to be just this color on all my fingers. So what I'm going to do is by the time I edit and upload this video, I'll probably have already done that manicure. And I'll also link that Instagram picture in the description. So check there. The two that I was, if you were like, gun to your head, Danny, pick which two were disappointing to you because I'm happy with all seven polishes, I would say, okay, if I had to pick two that were my least favorites, I would say the pink and the blue. The blue one is disappointing because my favorite baby blue of all time is Take Me to Your Chateau from Color Club because it's the perfect baby blue, but the formula is perfection. It's such a perfect formula, you could get away with doing one coat. And this one, the first coat is just 
awful. It's absolutely awful. When you do the second coat, you forget you forget how awful it was because it levels out, it evens, it looks beautiful, it's fully opaque. You guys can see on my uh, on my pinky and my thumb, I have the color. So it's a beautiful color. You can't tell that there was a that there was a battle underneath underneath the second layer. <laughs> so there was no war hat here, but. Um, if you compare it to Take Me to Your Chateau, I'm going to link that color down below because you need it in your life. I even talked about it in my yearly favorites. This one, this one's just poo next to it. This one, this one doesn't even compare. And then this one, I don't know if it was the formula or if it was the bottle itself. The brush on this one is kind of, it's smaller than the brush on, let me show you, than the brush on this one. You see the difference? The brush on this one is so much like, um, it's dense and fluffy. And so with you have giant fingernails like me, you just go one, two, and you're done and it's perfect. But with this one, it's so small that you have to do so many streak marks on your nails to, like, to fully cover it. I mean, if you have little fingernails, this one would probably be great because of the little tiny brush. But for me, ugh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my thumb is so uneven and streaky. And so what was happening is the formula on this one's like thicker and a little bit drier. So the brush is so little that I would have to do one streak, two streaks, three streaks. By the time I got to the middle of my nail, it was already drying out and it would just get even more streaky. So it was just, this one was a nightmare to apply. Not to mention, I mean, it's a pretty pink. It's a pretty pink, but it's not... I mean, it's not worth the formula. The best pastel pink that I've ever used would probably be, and Samantha's gonna love this, it would probably be Kittredge from Zoya, and you could still find it on their website. It was a limited edition color, but the formula is great, the color is beautiful, there are no problems with the brush or application or anything. So I would say this one's not even worth it. Um, I should probably tell you the name. This one's called Feathered Hair Out to There, and the blue one was Meet Me at the Rink. So these two are probably my least favorite. But all in all, you guys, when have you seen a collection that's this beautiful? One of my subscribers told me, I feel so motivated to get this collection because I regret having missed the Maybelline Pastel Neons so much. I think it was called Pastel Neons, right? Maybelline last year came out with a beautiful pastel collection and I couldn't find it anywhere. It was one of my biggest regrets. This one came out and I'm like, I am not regretting this one. So I had to get every single color and they're just really pretty. I mean, look at my Manny. Doesn't it just look like a bag of springtime M&Ms? It's, it's just so pretty. I love it. That is it for this nail polish review. I know for a lot of you, you're not really big fans of nail polish videos, but I just had to, I had to share this collection with you guys. After missing out that other collection that I was telling you guys about, I couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. I love neon everything. I love colorful anything. And then pastel, it's like the perfect hybrid of color perfection. Just perfection. Perfection. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Like always, all of these colors, everything that I mentioned, even the Take Me to Your Chateau, the other colors that I mentioned, all of the colors that I mentioned will be listed in the description box below. I'd really love to know your thoughts, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!